If that's Rich Girl live at 9.39, it's the crew from the Mousetrap. Uh, it's at the Bal Gandhar Rang Mandir in Bandra starting tomorrow. Tickets are at Book My Show. More conversation. This is Good Morning Mumbai with Richie K. I should say your real names more often instead of just referring to you by your characters. Tom, <laughs> Graham, and Denise are here. <laughs> and they play... Uh, Tom plays Giles and uh, Graham plays uh, Major Metcalf and Denise directs the show. You also act, do you? Yes, I do. I Are you was. playing a part in, in The Mousetrap? You're not, no, you're not, not this time, but I have played. Um, oh. I started off my Mousetrap life playing Miss Casewell. Mm. Wow. Um. And, and, and Graham, the only reason I bring this up is not to digress and not talk about The Mousetrap, but I, just, I, I love radio people. I mean, I believe we're all kindred souls. And you've done yeah. a fair amount of radio, and The Archers is a long-running play. Yes, long-running, yeah. So I love the microphone. I'm, I, it's the only award I've ever won. I was a broadcaster of the year once. Wow. In in England, um, isn't it? If you feel there's a womb of you're talking to to people, and I used to imagine who I, you know. It, but you're so cool about it all. But but yeah, the mousetrap is is. I've always done theatre. I I I trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art many years ago. Um, Why is there getting a laugh from your I get colleagues? I get, well, she's my wife. <laughs> well, she, the we we is commonly refer to her as Rada. Say <laughs> no further. You know what it it's explains like. everything. You know, you know what it's like. <laughs> yeah. It explains everything, my friend. <laughs> you won't go there. <laughs> yes, we never refer to We're it seeing as an awful lot of, of each other at the moment. <laughs> oh, my God, let's go back to London. <laughs> this is lovely. I'd be damned. Why, why don't I know about this? Avinash sends me a write-up. He should. This should be in the subtext. You know, it should be like a corollary. Oh, so you know, so and so are a couple. <laughs> so it's, there's a lot more to talk about. More scandal. You know, <laughs> why should only Katy Perry and Russell Brand be talked about? I'm just joking. Okay, l let's talk about your favorite characters. And you're not allowed to say your own character sure. in the mousetrap, Tom. Um, definitely, for me at the moment, it's Paravicini. Um and, and the guy playing Paravicini, we spoke the other night. I mean, he's just having so much fun. His name's Jason Hall, and he's probably one of my favourite people on this tour. Actually, he's funny on stage, off stage, and he he's just finds something different every night. And he's just he's one of the characters. Uh, almost a little bit like Trotter that doesn't really have any connection with any other people in, in the play. He talks he talks in big monologues. He doesn't have a lot of conversations, which as an actor is very hard to do often. It's much better to normally, you know, act and react. But he just holds the stage and he gets so many laughs and he's he's brilliant. He's one to watch. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, it really, it, when, when I was involved with the play in high school, uh, Paravaccini, uh, mm was one of my favorites, you know, for uh, reasons other than what he talked about. You know, I'd, I'd become a big fan of Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, and, you know, I just found the accent very, very fascinating. Graham? Well, if I, if I was younger, I think that um, I would have loved to have played Christopher Wren as a young man. I can see myself doing that rather well. I, that's a good part. But now, do you know what? Am I allowed to say Mrs. Boyle? In this age, you know, I'd love to have a crack at Mrs. Boyle. Or would he be Mr. Boyle? I don't know. That would be. A, oh no, a, definitely Mrs. Boyle in your case. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that would. That, that's what. I, and Mrs. Boyle is. She's such an old cow, really. Yes. <laughs> um, but this is really interesting. You know, it's like the you know uh, the Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. When you read it at strategic points of time, you have a different interpretation. And your favorites keep changing. Yes. I'm, I'm referring to a novel, of course. Mm. So this is very interesting. He said that he used to like a particular character, and with age, mm. even that changes. Yeah. And, and there's something nice for an actor um, but to play a terrible snob who is always saying, this place isn't good enough for mm. me. And uh, we have a wonderful actress who you met last year, Sarah. Yes. Who's got it down to a fine art? Well, we live in such a PC world now, and especially even Britain, we're all so polite and careful all mm. the time. And with her, a spade is a spade. If a she spade. doesn't like something, she's saying it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And do apologize to the rest, you know, uh, be only because it's a smaller room this time. I insisted that only three of you come. Otherwise, last time we had a bit of a party, didn't we? Oh, we yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Playing fun. musical chairs and things yeah. like that. Absolutely. Uh, we will do that, hopefully, when the next you... time when our studios yeah. are running. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe they can just sit out and come back in. You know, we should, <laughs> that, we, should yeah. we should risk yeah. it. We should risk it. So, Denise. Um, oh well, I'm not allowed to say my favourite character is. I think because I directed it, and I then it would look like bias. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think we know who your favourite character is. <laughs> <laughs> now we know you're married. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I, I love Perrottini, but also I have such a soft spot for Miss Case Well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, it's Mambo number five. We're going to come back and do a last leg of conversation. I don't go anywhere. It's the Mousetrap. Tickets at Book My Show.